I think the biggest challenge NGOs are going to face in the future, more generally, uh, is just questions about their legitimacy. Um, you know, I think we've lived in a world where we've been relatively free to basically cross borders and operate in other cultures and other societies. But increasingly, I think that freedom is being questioned. Um, I think it's both being questioned for reasons of transparency uh, and also, I think, um, legitimate reasons about what is it that gives an organization the right or the freedom or again the legitimacy to operate in another culture. I think that it's going to take some time before nonprofits and philanthropy begin to feel more comfortable talking about failure. I think there's a tendency to believe that um, if we talk about failure that that will reflect badly on our funding decisions, on our programs, but I think in fact um, we can get to a point where NGOs and philanthropists embrace more the idea of talking about failure and realizing that's the way that all of us can really learn. Now one challenge for NGOs is to really figure out yeah, how much data uh, to share uh, when data may be stored in many different places uh, to really make it useful uh, so that it's not just data for data's sake and transparency for transparency's sake because you know, being transparent with your data is you know, not inherently useful but is potentially very useful. So figuring out the right level of information to share, um, achieving a baseline of transparency so that what you're doing you know, is you know, fully out there for others to comment on and to hold you accountable, but to really figure out where all that data is and how to get it out there in a way that's useful. So the biggest challenge uh, that we see right now is that so many of the sustainable development goals require holistic integrated approaches. And a big challenge is when monitoring and evaluating and showing the results is to find ways of showing why and how they are related. And if we don't do that, we will continue to think in projects instead of change processes. And I think for us to be able to reach the SDGs, we really need to go into process thinking.